on this show first three days early. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> just talking to Chris. This is Chris Whitley. He was on the show last year, and uh, we were all very taken with him and enjoy your music very much. And this is his latest album, which is called Dirt Floor, but uh, from it he will not be singing a song. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a strange sentence construction, but what are you going to play? Um, I'm going to play it's just this new little song I, I got uh, called Firefighter. Right, okay, then you come and talk to me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Yes, ma'am. I like that. See? I'd like to hear it again, actually, because, you know, you don't really catch on. You don't hear a lyric the first time. Yeah, Sometimes true. you just adjust the melody you hear first, and then, yeah. So will it be on a record? It will. I, I've already started recording it with a couple friends of mine in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> Is it going to cost more than 1500 bucks this time? Uh, to make, yes, <laughs> probably. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this, uh, this was, you know, touted as being, like, the world's cheapest record to produce I, yeah, with the we, best return. Yes, it was. It's. Uh, it's. It ended up selling more than my last couple of, of, uh, of major label releases that had a lot more money involved in them. And yeah, it's a record I made in one day, and it cost the price of renting a van to bring some stuff up to New, uh, to Vermont from New York. Right. You know, so. What were you doing in Vermont? Um, recording this little that little record. I, I used to live up there before I moved right. to New York City. Right. So my father has a farmhouse up there that's empty. And, you know, it was kind of a... So you moved in? Yes, for three days. <laughs> it's not too long to make an album. And some no. people take six months. I've taken six months at once as well. Is that the first one? <laughs> the second one. Right. Um, do you keep in touch with uh, Daniel Lenoir? Or is yeah, that kind I do. You do, eh? Because he produced your first record, was he, it? Yeah. He, he worked on my first record, but um, Malcolm Byrne, who's, who's um, Canadian and also from... I, I think Malcolm is from... Ottawa area, Toronto area. Um, Malcolm really was a producer. Right. Malcolm was Dan's keyboard player at the time, and Mark Howard, who's also from up here, uh, engineered my my third album and and that first one. Mal uh, Mark still works with Dan. Um, I, I talked to Dan a couple couple of weeks ago. Are you on a big tour now, or? I've been on the road. Be by the end of May, I will have done 300 gigs this uh, since this time last year. I've I just 300. Yeah, I've I've been in Europe four times for a month each time. I, I did a month long tour with the, opening for Atlantis 
um, How was America. that? It was great. You know, she, it was great. The way it came about, um, you know, she just liked my stuff, and, and um, that was that was. I'm not surprised that she liked your stuff. I, I did a month with Johnny Lang as well, which we just got off of um, three weeks ago. And uh, you're still uh, hanging out a bit in Belgium? you got family there. I have a daughter who lives yeah. in Belgium. Trixie! Trixie. It's a great name, eh? <laughs> <laughs> does she like her name? Well, most kids she does. Are. Yeah, she so does, it's, eh? It's their, she, uh, her mom, I mean, they, they speak Flemish, Dutch, and, and, and French, so it's Trixie. Trixie. It sounds a bit different in that. Yeah. And so, but they speak English. Mm -hmm. To you, oh, American boy, wonder. Yes. <laughs> she speaks three languages, my daughter. She's it's 11. great, eh? <laughs> Can you imagine being able to do that? I know. Did you, you didn't grow up speaking another language, did you? When I was a kid, I moved, when I was 11, I moved to Mexico with my mom and brother and sister. My mom's a sculptor and we lived down yeah. there. And I actually learned Spanish while I lived there, um, just from friends, from literally on the street. When you're a kid, you just soak up stuff. I later lived in Belgium for six years, so when I try to speak Spanish now, I get it mixed up with Dutch the, uh, and French. Yeah, the accent's all funny. And I'm older, so I don't learn as fast. And you know, that's yeah. unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> uh, where did you live in Mexico? You did, did you live in San Miguel Allende? San Miguel de Allende. Yeah, mm -hmm. where all the artists, artists go. Yes. Is she still there, your mother? No, she lives in Austin, Texas. Yeah. All right, still sculpting. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. she good? She's a great sculptor. Yeah, she's not very known. She's had a hard time of it, but there's been periods of her life where she's had, you know, some stuff in like architectural magazines. Oh, really? Like What's that. her name? Uh, Mickey Whitley. Mickey <laughs> Whitley. Yeah. So I should pay attention <laughs> if I ever see any of your stuff. Maybe you should put something on uh, the next I album know. cover. Yeah. If you, you know, if you know if life's I've, worth living, you know, uh, yes. Mr. Whitley. <laughs> you better do something. Anyway, I really appreciate you coming again. Thanks. And, uh, nice of you to be back. Cheers. Thanks a lot. You don't have to go.